Hi everyone, I'm uh, Ivan Sharic and today I'll be doing a uh, banter blitz uh, session against uh, Lisandra Ordaz. Uh, CD5, this is not much fun to play, but I guess in a blitz yeah, it can happen. Bishop descend. This is all uh, theory. Uh, I think Rook C8 now. Threatening B4, so A3 is kind of forced. Now Black has square on C4 for his knight. Knight F3, six castles. Bishop E7. It's pretty standard position in. And played many times so far, I think. Uh, White wants to play an IT5, later have some attacking ideas on the king side, and Black uh, hopes to do something on the queen side with A5 and B4, B, A5 and B5, later B4 maybe. So far I'm getting uh, ahead of clock, so this is good. Yeah, I think she needs to play faster in this match. Because this is pretty standard position and there's still a lot of things going on later in the game. I'm just making some normal moves without even calculating anything. Okay, for now I really need to start thinking. Ah, this is a good move. I just swap these two pawns. Either she will take on a4 or she will take on c4. Okay, defending again. Attacking at the same time, so this is a good move. This I didn't see. I would like to put my rook on b5, but unfortunately I can't because bishop on f4 is very strong. Yeah, bishop b5. I think I'm, I'm just worse here, but I have huge advantage with the clock, so. And this is actually not so bad at all, I think. This uh, mighty train I'm just winning. I only took before. I just take the bishop and play rook b8 with the idea to take on b2. If knight c7, probably rook a7, and still ha I have some sort of compensation. Actually, it's completely irrelevant now since she's way down on the clock.
Yeah, she she played good but uh, slow. I need to improve the quality of my play next few games. I hope. Uh, this is now this very modern G6 or 97. Eventually, it leads to similar positions. I'm taking the most classical approach with C3 and D4. Just typical rule of best stuff, knight d2, knight f1, h3, knight g3 later, and so on. Now black can play rook e8, or take on d4, or play b5, she has uh, really a lot of options available. I'm not sure about placement of the queen on e7 because later after bishop g5 followed but nine, followed with knight e3, knight d5 is kind of really pleasant for white and the queen is a bit misplaced on e7. Although the, it defends the e5 square so I guess that was the point. where to put my knight. Uh, okay, let's postpone this decision now since uh, black hasn't played h6, it's a good idea to prevent it. Next move is rook ad1 and uh, maybe I will a5, a4, but it's not really impressive that much. And before this is This is interesting. I really want to develop my knight from my f1 somewhere. In on e5, I'm playing f4 and then e5, which maybe wins. Yeah, I don't see what's the problem with it. Maybe she will have to eventually give up the exchange with the rook g5 because 95, 95. Okay, this is this doesn't change much. Rook g5 is forced. If rook somewhere e5, so yeah, rook g5. Knight h5, I can play g4. 98, now I can play e5 because. Rook, bishop e5, rook takes e5, and I'm taking the the bishop on d7. Bishop b3. Okay, bishop a2 is not a threat, so I'm fine. I can just take on g6. Maybe rook b2 is possible, but queen c1, rook a2. I have many moves, maybe just. Or maybe this is not so bad for black. Yeah. Now I can go knight e4 and just take this knight. Okay, I'll take. And this is better than taking good queens because I, I would have bishop b1. Oh, this rook is a bit annoying me. Yeah, my technique was very bad, I think. And this is 
Oh, objectively very close to draw, maybe. Okay. If she saved the five pawn, now it's pretty much still winning. I can just. play anything <laughs> yeah I won again on time not particularly pretty game but somehow I keep winning on time and before now it's time for Kings Indian my favorite opening and it served me quite well in the blitz games and in general this is kind of old variation of four pounds attack I'm now sure what to do here exactly, but this isn't really the most dangerous uh, line in Kings Indian for black. Just some waiting move to see what's her plan. Okay, I think this was a not sure. This is what you play against knight h5. You go knight g5, but just without any reason. It's, it's just a little bit strange. Although, yeah, g6 is weakened. G5 later can be a motive for white with the idea of taking on g6, maybe even immediately, but then I have knight f4 at least, taking the bishop pair and I'm just fine. g3, uh, knight h4 is next move. I'm wondering about e5, knight h4 and just this is at least fine for white if I'm not losing there immediately <laughs> okay just knight d4 this, this is a square for knight so I have to do something if knight h4 maybe I can take on f4 play g5 um, I'm going to sacrifice exchange in a way because bishop f4, g5 and knight g6, I take on f4, maybe I can play even rook f6, but then e5 is coming again. And I'm lost, so yeah, bishop f4 is probably the move, because rook f4 I just take and g5 and I, I think I'm fine, and if bishop f4, g5, knight g6, I take on f4. Well, I took the dark fair bishop, but I'm exchanged down. Similar like in the last game. Yeah, white is just probably winning. I'll just start developing my pieces and maybe try to play faster. King h8. Um, my next moves are queen f7, rook g8, h3 was at least, ah, okay, king h2 is the idea. This is what I missed. Maybe I can try something against this f4 pawn. But how?
Yeah, I should have played h5 and I missed the knight f3's. Very strong move after, maybe it will work. Yeah, bishop e1 is a bit strange. It closes the rook and maybe I can hope. But yeah, now I will play bishop c6. Followed by d4, or maybe not. I wanted queen f3, but yeah, she prevented it. I'm very slow. Okay, this was a big blunder, but. It's a time trouble, so it's not surprising. Ah, this I blundered. Yeah. She's playing good, but uh, yeah, she's not experience with the clock, I guess. But I was very lucky in the last game. I, I didn't deserve any points. Uh, this was going pretty well in the last game, so okay, 97 is a bit different. I go for some sort of King's Indian setup with changing of the light squared bishops and uh, c4, d5 center. Hmm. This I didn't play perfectly because now f5 is coming and uh, I should normally have bishop e3, knight e2, f3 after bishop e3, f5, knight e2, but I'm just uh, uh, one tempi away, so I, I should start some sort of bayonet with b4. Now black can do either f5 or a5. Yeah, after a5, I must take and play in bayonet style with a4, bishop a3. I want to play bishop b4 and uh, a5 is, and if possible and then uh, transfer my knight to b3 and play c5. This is the simplest plan. And normally black's attack shouldn't be so dangerous without uh, light squared bishops. But we'll see. How did I just blunder a pawn? Oh, maybe I can't. I have C CD6 intermediate move now. I'll take on D6 if she takes on D5. She can take on E4, which is probably the best, and play something like Knight F5 to defend D6 pawn and Still, I believe white is slightly better here, at least. I can play something slowly like h3, rook b1, a5. And uh, white's bishop is simply better than uh, black bishop, so. g5, this shouldn't be great, but okay, she wants knight g6, knight f4. Yeah, h3 was maybe unnecessary. Maybe I can just play g3 and if queen f6, king g2. Just completely restrict this knight. Yeah, she's tripling on the left file. I have rook a3. This is very useful move in a lot of positions. 
still no threat, so I can just gain some space on the queen side. I'll just play if queen f5, queen e2. So I don't know, maybe she wants to play h5. Yeah, this should be. Ah, queen f5 was not, not possible because pawn on d6 is hanging. Somehow here I need to attack b7, but to keep an eye on f3. Still g4 is not a threat, but it might become. Oh, maybe. Oh, no, okay. I can't play h4, just losing immediately because my f2 is hanging. So maybe I should go. Ah, oh, such a blunder. Yeah, okay. This is really bad. Yeah, but this happens when you talk and play chess, I guess. Really, really bad. Yeah, time for Kings Indiana again, but I have to improve it from the last game because last game wasn't really great. Let's try bishop e6 this time. Although taking with pawn is supposedly better, yeah? I'm not really familiar with the theory here. So I just go back. And play some normal moves. I guess bishop f4. Or knight b5, maybe she's you know, considering. Or knight b5, knight e4, I'm talking complete nonsense. Mm -hmm. Maybe bishop d6 isn't really a threat. I I just take on f5 and yeah, this is normally what you do in these kind of positions. You just give a pawn on d6 to have a great piece play because later one of the black's main assets is the d4 square. a5, this of course I miss, but I'm not sure if this is so great for white. I guess queen d3, knight g4, and I don't see a way how to defend this pawn, and also black bishop on d5, d6 is pinned, and I could have taken on e5 immediately, actually. But okay, taking with the knight on e5 has its own strong points, defending on f7, for example, and also in some lines, the pawn on c4 will hang. I, if I take with knight e5, bishop e5, maybe there is some move like queen d5. But I just take on d6. Maybe knight e4. And this is the problem of choice, I think. Every move here is good. Maybe rook e5 is the simplest one. I'm attached to this bishop e5. Maybe there is some rook f7. No, no, there is not. I just take on h2 or bishop d4. Yeah, this I saw, but I didn't see anything. 
particularly good. And now rook e6. Bishop e5, queen d5, and then taking back the bishop, and if something other like yeah, 94 is the best. But still, she has no threats. But I need to find some good move because queen d7 is not really a move. After knight f6, king g7 is also not a move because bishop e5 is check. So I need to find some useful move. Is queen b7 a threat? This is I need to play something, but Queen D seven I could have gone Queen D seven because then Knight F six wouldn't work. Now she can take on E5, yeah. Maybe I'm not losing. Okay. Okay, C7 was winning immediately. Rook E8, Rook D1. But still. Okay, I should make a draw here somehow. By not losing on time, but we'll see. I will try to force her to take on d4 because taking on c3 is supposed to give white an excellent compensation although I don't know exactly how to play but somehow the position should play itself D7, ID5, D6. Queen D2, I'm trying to prevent castle. I guess G5. Or A6. And Bishop A4, this doesn't change much. Bishop G4 is a bit. I wanted to go knight d4. I no, I'll first take on e7 because after knight d4 she can castle maybe. And then I could have done it immediately. Now if castles I just take on c6. Peace play, but for the sacrifice pawn, but I think I'm still not worse here. Rook b3, I will not give this pawn. Rook b6 or c5 is something I would expect. 
I want to G5, I will have F4 idea. Actually, this is probably my next move if she defends the pawn on C6. She can also castle, and, but then I take bishop to 6, I take on C6, queen E4, I can take on C7 or even A6. I have great attacking chances. Here F4, later bishop F2 might become interesting idea, or immediately. Now if c5 I take on d7 and then g5 is hanging and also mom on c5 is hanging. So I'm I'm good here. I think she needs to take on g5 because they allowing to take me on h6 is disaster. No, I think bishop c5 will be five. So I'm not in time to take on g5. A4, rook B3, queen G4. No, this is, I should take on G5. I like this pawn more than the one on C5. Yeah, I thought I have good attacking chances here, but probably not. Queen G6 is her next move, and I should play something. Slowly, it's here. Hoping for queen d5, but uh, rook e8 is a better move. Oh, now it's time to move away this rook from b4 and uh, later to play b4 maybe to start with h4 and rook e3 was also interesting yeah now i want to do it so h4 was a bit stupid Okay, and now I'm seeing the time situation, and it's not really a great one. But not great for her either, so... Rook g4, queen f1. Uh, I hope I'm not getting committed here. Yeah, I'll just trade queens and... This seems like a recurring theme of this match, just I'm getting almost outplayed in every game, but I keep winning on time or saving games. I play the Benoni approach against every possible setup. If I trade those two paces, I should be completely fine. Actually, black is probably ready. Fine, next move is bishop d7. After the exchange of the bishops, rook b8, followed by b5, or later knight f4, this h3 pawn is actually a weakness because white can't play g3. Other things. Really don't worry me here. Queen f3 is also it's kind of a defending move, I guess. Maybe we should have played queen e5 immediately. 
but if I immediately for white, I don't think it's working. I just take and play f5. So it's okay. Now with white, I would just play something like a5 or try to play g3. This rook doing here. Okay, I will not sacrifice the pawn if I don't have to. Queen f6, for example. And then my knight on f6 is great. I don't have to play f5, and I just play b5, and uh, after exchanges on the b5, put my rook on b6 and around this pawn and eventually push my pawn so it's not worrying me. Queen e3, now I can take on d6 to play e4 first. Yeah I'm even considering queen sacrifices but it's not necessary. e4, just knight takes c4. Yeah, okay, I should trade queens. If a rook e1, I go rook e6. A rook e5, rook e6, and she can't take on c5 because bishop on d3 is hanging. And if anything else, I just play b5. Yeah, still I have to play b5, I don't care, because my rook on b6 is great, b2 is hanging and d6 is hanging. And bishop on, on d7 is great, it's blockading, it's defending the a4 square. Um, I won't take on h3, this is a bit too much. But I'll prevent g5. Yeah, okay, this is uh, finally some normal game from my side. Okay, I will try again d4, but I'm hoping to get a bit of more compensation. I'm wondering, can I just play e5 and knight e4? Knight e5 is so tempting. And this should be the four is okay. D6. I wanted to play rook c1 in the first game. Queen d2 is okay still. I'm playing g5. Yeah, this is better. just play positionally and claim that I have enough of a piece playing and open files to have compensation for this sacrifice pawn. Yeah, why I'm thinking after a6 I should always go bishop a4 and just Put my bishop on b3. Bishop b6, rook c1. And okay, now at least I have some pressure on the c file and some ideas 
are coming to my mind like C7 is a bit weak maybe rook c8 is a good move and after h4 g4 is always good for black then I would like to put my knight on d4 but I can't maybe I can actually because on knight on e7 is hanging I just play h4 g4 knight e7 knight e7 knight d4 yeah I have some composition still there because f5 square looks nice for my knight maybe she can take with queen yeah maybe it was smarter to play knight e7 at once but okay at least now I'm returning the pawn although not not a great one I have doubled on b3 b2 and doubled on f5 so still my bishop on g3 is actually now a very good one it's defending my king and uh, it's supporting f4 e5 my next move is queen c2 and the c2 c7 pawn is uh, still a weak one The good thing about these double pawns is that at some moment uh, they will be exchanged. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but, okay. She wants rook b8, but uh, now the bishop on g7 is closed, so this is not uh, dangerous for me. In general, this trade of pawns it should be good for white because now I'm not really risking anything and I'm wondering can I play f5 uh, but bishop e5 bishop I take and play f6 and probably win the game immediately and if d takes e5 I have some f6 ideas followed by the rook sacrifice but I'm I want to take But F2 is hanging. Oh, I should just play positionally and I wasted so much time calculating F5, D5, F6, but I didn't see a direct win. Yeah, I'm just positionally dominating. Uh, this is just a pawn, I guess. And deck e6 is my next move. I don't really see a threat. I play rook e6. That's a bit too much. Yeah. King somewhere. She blundered this, I guess. This was my only point of playing rook e6. Another victory, this one was more or less okay. I think I haven't done anything stupid in this game, so it was a good game. Yeah, for this was doing this was working pretty well for her, so I'll try something different this time. Looks like you can uh, put knight on a6 in every king's in the end, literally every one. Uh, bishop g4, 